The Parents' Council of the Marist School played host to a presentation by Dr. Bobby Smith on the issue of teenage drinking and what parents could do to keep their child from abusing drugs and alcohol. It was a talk for parents about um, alcohol and drug use, I suppose, in, in adolescence, trying to give parents some of the actual facts about the rates of alcohol and drug use in teenagers, but focusing primarily on I suppose, the protective factors what we as parents can do to reduce the risks that our sons and daughters run into difficulty around alcohol or drug use. I've been working in this area of treating teenagers with alcohol and drug problems for the last seven years and since I started that work I've been getting suppose, increasing requests to do talks like this, usually by parents associations from schools and probably the frequency of requests is increasing, it's probably now about you know, two or three a month. There are some encouraging findings, I think there's some drug problems that we've seen to have managed quite well as a society, again, particularly maybe the heroin problem in Dublin. Um, it's often an unacknowledged success. It's greatly reduced compared to uh, what it was 15 years ago. Um, other drugs, I suppose, have arrived on the scene, and, and the head shop phenomenon was a, a significant concern for a while. But again, I think a combination of community and government response to that issue has resulted in positive changes as well. The drug, I think, we're struggling most to get to grips with is alcohol. I think there's increasing awareness about the harms that alcohol causes in Irish society and less inclination to dismiss it or apologise uh, for it or just you know, ignore it. There's greater unease around it. That has yet maybe to translate though into much action at a broad policy level to tackle it. The bad thing that we do maybe as communities in Ireland, as adults, is we tend to model a very unhealthy relationship with alcohol. We tend to allow alcohol to dominate all social events. And it's not, you know, it's how we use alcohol as well. Because, say, people in continental countries, alcohol forms part of their socialising as well. But in Ireland, I suppose, we drink to intoxication very routinely. It's perfectly acceptable, whether you're a high court judge, a doctor, a teacher, to be drunk uh, on a Friday or Saturday night with your mates. And that's not the same in, in other cultures. So I think if we began just to review the amount that we drink, and so the question uh, how routinely we get intoxicated, um, that would certainly be a big step forward in the right direction and setting a better example for our teenagers. There are a couple of good, good websites in Ireland. You can check out the on drugs. The drugs website, website is called www.drugs.ie. Um, in the HSC or Department of Health website, you'll be able to get some information on talking to teenagers on alcohol in the health promotion section. If you just Google a document called Straight Talking to Teenagers. Uh, and I suppose another source of information on the internet is a, a website that's put together by the Search Institute in the United States. And if you just Google 40 developmental assets, you'll get there a list of 40 characteristics that are associated with resilience in teenagers, many of which we as parents can directly influence.